Hello and welcome to Matt Parker's Maths Puzzles. I'm Matt Parker and the Maths Puzzle this time involves arranging cats and dogs. So let's say you run a cat and dog boarding facility where you, you basically have a unending supply of cats and dogs. On your facility, you have a row of 10 kennels, one after the other, in a straight standard line. Nothing funny going on there. At night, you have to allocate cats and dogs to one each to each of the 10 kennels. And you've discovered that while the dogs, super friendly, cats can get a little bit territorial not pack animals, I guess. And so you've realized you can put the animals wherever you want, except you cannot have two cats in adjacent kennels. So the question is, how many different ways can you completely fill this row of 10 kennels using only cats and dogs, such that no two cats are in adjacent kennels? I will also say that the animals are fungible. So all dogs are the same, all cats are the same. I'm not asking like for, you know, naming all the animals. That's optional, but you don't have to do it. I'm just saying, you're, let's just say you're labeling each one. It's either a cat kennel or a dog kennel. How many ways can you go through and label them without two cat kennels being next to each other? So as always, you can submit your answer on the Think Maths website, go check it out. And if you have any additional working or anything you wanna send in, send it in to mattpluspuzzles at standupmaths. Com. As always, thank you so much. We get such, such amazing amounts of mathematics sent in. I should also apologize that this video is one day late. I got a bit caught up yesterday in a different filming project, which hopefully will be out tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. Um, and the solution video from last week does exist. I recorded it and the audio quality was so bad, I decided it wasn't worth releasing. So tell you what, it does, it does exist. I will uh, link to it below. So it's the Pascal's triangle. How many, what percentage of the first 128 rows are odd? So it's out, I uploaded it, just, it was so bad. I thought, you know what, I'll do it again when I get some time. I've not had the time. Which reminds me, we've been doing Matt Parker's Maths Puzzles for some time now. This is the 17th one that I'm currently setting. And so I've decided that we should wrap up season one while we're still in our prime. And so, not 17, we'll go to 19. So we're gonna wrap it up uh, with two more puzzles. So there's this one, and then there will be two more, and then we'll like freeze the leaderboard, and we'll call that the end of season one. I'm gonna have a lot of work on next year. And uh, we might still do occasional sporadic ones. So obviously we've still got Oliver who does all the database stuff in the background. We've got Zoe who helps me out with running them, and we've got Deanna who helps go through all the maths that gets sent in. So we will keep uh, doing this sort of thing, we're just not gonna do it on a regular basis. And maybe one day we'll do season two, who knows. But anyway, just to give you a warning, you've got this puzzle and then two more, so get involved.